Welcome to the Poncho Show, everyone. Uh, we're going to start off with some world news with Josh and Jackson. So first up is some news about the Iowa caucuses. Yep, the Iowa caucuses happened on Monday. Hillary Clinton won the vote against Bernie Sanders by three-tenths of a percent. And so she was pretty happy about that one. Yep. Uh, Ted Cruz wins the Republican vote, and uh, Donald Trump comes in second. Uh, Donald Trump, in the beginning, was very gracious about his loss, but now he's saying Ted Cruz stole the ballot, and uh, he has a lot of reasons for that. Um, they're kind of interesting. If you want to go see him, there's, like, some shady business behind uh, Ted Cruz. You can go check it out if you want. Yep. But, I don't know, kind of interesting. So. You see Donald Trump's tweet? He's like, nobody remembers a second-place person, but he got second place. Bummer. Nobody's going to remember him. Now they're off in New Hampshire trying to get all of them votes. Mm-hmm. And then they're off to South Carolina, right? Yep. Some couple people dropped out. Uh, O'Malley dropped out, Rand Paul dropped out, and Mike Huckabee dropped out. And then just <laughs> yesterday on Wednesday, Rick Santorum also dropped out. So that'll yep. uh, thin out the herd a little bit there. And more than likely more are going to drop out after New Hampshire's. Mm-hmm. So we'll see who drops out after that. Yep. Now here's some, here's some weird news for you. This is kind of strange. Very. All over a Twitter Twitter beef we had. Well, we didn't have it, but... All right, so uh, Kanye has a new album coming out. Kanye West, that is, has a new album called Waves coming out. And uh, Wiz Khalifa, a different rapper, started, like, talking to him on Twitter. Well, he started, like, dissing Kanye and stuff. So Kanye started roasting him hard with, like, 14 tweets all about how, you know, Wiz is, like, uh, Kanye is... The reason Wiz has, like, everything and all this. Yep. And he's roasting him hard. And uh, then uh, Kanye's ex-girlfriend and Wiz Khalifa's current girlfriend, Amber Rose, chimed in. She kind of dropped the mic on that one. And uh, that made that caused Kanye West to delete all his tweets and say stuff like, all blessings didn't mean any stuff like that. And uh, so Amber Rose really just dropped the bomb, and now it's oh. over. So. <laughs> exactly. Yep. Alrighty, new, um, Barbie came out with new models, or little dolls, I should say. One is curvy, tall, short. I think that's all of them. There's right? a lot of them, yeah. There's a lot, but them are the main. Yeah. Adding ones. more variation, letting yep. little girls... Uh, Represent their bodies more. Yeah, be more attuned with their dolls. And before you say this isn't really news, Barbie is a multi-billion dollar company. It's bigger than you might think, you know. Yeah. It's pretty big, pretty big deal. Yep. So. And finally, for world news, uh, you might know this already, but is February is Black History Month. So I don't know if you want to do anything for that. I don't know what you guys have planned, but you know what? There you go, Black History Month. All right, now it's time for some school news, now that you heard the world news. So uh, first up, it, this month is Kindness Month, so make sure to spread a lot of kindness yep. and uh, all that stuff. If you have someone who did something kind, you can drop their name in yep. the box in the office. Give them a little... And they're in a chance to win a prize of some sort, right? Yep. So that that would be yeah. nice. So, yeah, just go ahead and be kind to everyone. You know, that's what you want. Mm -hmm. right. that. One Act Play will be performing in Sioux Falls today at 1130. And they did their show yesterday here in Rossville, and it was quite good. Yep. So we hope them all the best of luck mm -hmm. on taking home a big old trophy. Yep. Not only is it Black History Month, Kindness Month, but it's also CTE Month. Now, that means it's Career and Technological Education Month. Education Month. Yep. And so, uh, I don't know what that is. So, they're what promoting hands-on classes. Hands-on classes. Hands classes. So, like, yeah. class. like, so this, like class this class right, right here. Because right <laughs> we're using our hands. Yep. All right. See, like I sculpted this little guy from my hands. <laughs> yep. I'll tell you what else <laughs> uses hands. <laughs> <laughs> all righty well, all righty okay. so thanks for tuning in for news on the first week of february hello and welcome to sports hello uh we'll start you off with some rosselt sports uh the girls game was canceled on tuesday and the girls have games thursday and monday um Russell boys played GPL last Friday in a 62-42 to win. Uh, boys played a game the next day against Waverly South Shore, 
but lost 22 to 43 and had a 42 to 52 loss on or to Langford on Monday. Uh, there are boys games on Friday and Saturday and next week on Thursday and Friday. I'm here with Tom Vergelt, the coach of the boys basketball, and I'm going to ask him a few things about the season. So, can you tell us about the record first and how everything's going in general? Well, we're seven and five at this point. We've had some ups and downs, and we've had some injuries. We're just finally starting to come back together. Hopefully, we can have a strong finish to our season. And when do playoffs start for them? I believe they're like the last week in February, the 28th, I think, because it's districts. Yeah. Can we get to know you a little bit better? What would you like to know? Um... How about anything? How long you've been coaching or your coaching experience? Well, I've coached on and off for a lot of years in Aberdeen and at AAU level and, of course, at high school level and junior high level. And so I've been, and been around it for many, many years, I guess, both here in Aberdeen and here. All right. Well, um, do you know what we're currently ranked in the district for boys basketball? We're ranked second. I think Waverly South Shore is first. And we're second. Um, when the playoff comes, the bottom two teams of the five in our district will have a playoff game first and then the winner of that game will play the number one seed and the number two and number three seed will play each other. And what do you think the odds are of making it to state finally this year? Uh, that's a tough tough road. Uh, Waverly South Shore is tough in our district. Um, in, in our region, uh, Warner is rated number one in the state. Langford, I think, is rated number two or three. So it's a tall ladder to climb, but we're, we're looking forward to it. Well, thank you for joining us today. We look forward to the rest of the basketball season. And now Abel with some NFL news. We'll start off with some stat leaders in the NBA. Stephen Curry is the points per game leader with 29.4 points a game. Andre Drummond is leading in rebounds with 15.1 per game. Rajon Rondo is the assist leader with 11.7. Hassan Whiteside is the block leader with 3.85 per game. And Russell Westbrook is the steal leader with 2.36 steals per game. Uh, the other day, LeBron was the youngest player to reach 26,000 points. It's pretty good, nice. I guess. Even though he got a head start and everyone because he came right away. Uh, Wednesday, Golden State beat the Wizards, and Stephen Curry scored 51 points and was three away from tying the NBA's three-point record. And John Wall scored 41, so it was a pretty good battle. And now tie with some hockey. The All-Star Weekend seemed to be a bigger success this year compared to last year. It was uh, more competitive, shorter, it was a three-on-three -three tournament, and there were three games this year instead of one. Uh, and the team that won received a million dollars, so that's pretty nice. John Scott, who was voted in as a joke, ended up captaining the Pacific Division, who ended up winning the tournament. And he was voted MVP by the fans, and he had two goals in two games, so it was pretty good. Um, after his hearing, Calgary's defenseman Dennis Weidman was punished uh, for hitting a referee, and he received a 20-game suspension. Um, Penguin Sidney Crosby scored his first hat trick in two years, and uh, it was a 6-5 to five win against the Ottawa Senators. Um, Oilers' Connor McDavid returned this week after breaking his collarbone, and in his first game he had a pretty impressive goal, along with two assists. Um, and lastly, uh, the Toronto Maple Leafs are changing their logo to celebrate their 100th anniversary, and their new logo will represent their old one, so that'll be interesting to see. And they revealed the new logo, so you can go check that out if you want to. And now Abel with some NFL news. Well, the Super Bowl is this weekend. Carolina versus Denver. What do you think, Ty? I think the Broncos are going to get it this year. I'm thinking the thinking the Panthers. I'm thinking Cam's a bit better, younger. He's a little more quick and agile, but, I mean, Peyton's solid. I mean, he can hit anyone from anywhere on the field. It doesn't matter. But Cam can run. You get him trapped, he's in there, he's like, ah, whatever. TDs all day. <laughs> Any dab. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. Um, Calvin Johnson Jr., otherwise known as Megatron, 
is retiring this year because he gets many minor ankle injuries and he's tired of it. Yeah, what do you think about him retiring? Uh, I feel like it'll be a sad day for Detroit and it'll be a good thing for Minnesota and Green Bay, but it'll be sad to see him go. He's a great player. And Very good player. Uh, Peyton Manning might retire. Last at the when they beat the Patriots, he's like, "This might be my last rodeo coming up." What do you think of that? I think that'll also be a sad thing to see. I mean, Peyton's such a great guy, a great quarterback, and he's one of the best quarterbacks in the league, and he still is. And I don't know, he's had a great career, but it'll be sad to see him go next year. True. But I hope he can get one more championship, and if if he wins it this year, so. See you next week. Well, welcome to back to the outdoors section. Um, Nicholas and Ryan are going to be doing this again. Buffalo, we got a lot of northern pike off of tip-ups. Some perch um, off of the rods that we've been using, shiners, minnows, and some chubs uh, to, uh, on tip-ups. And we've cut our limited northerns. And um, we've been using little small northerns to catch a few perch. The Buffalo Tournament is this weekend, Saturday, February 6, 2016. The tournament is from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Registration is at 9 a.m. Places are one, first place, second place, and third place for walleye, northern pike, fans fish, and other fish. First place for pike, perch, and walleye and bass are is $300. Second place for pork. Or pike, perch, and walleye, and bass are 200 And then third place, which would be $100. And then for the other fish category, which is like your bullheads, um, fish like that. First place, we got $100. Second place, $75. And third place is $50. So hopefully we can get a... There's usually a lot of people at this tournament, so... Um, your odds of winning these categories are slim to, like, none, but hopefully you can get that big fish. Um, I know last year my grandpa won second place for the other fish because he caught a really big bullhead, so, and he really, that's the only thing that he could catch, and he wound up getting second place off of the second fish, or for the other fish category, so that was pretty good. Presence Forever is, um, Saturday night in, uh, Wheaton. Minnesota, so there's usually a lot of people at the Pheasants Forever, so. Okay, done. Done. <laughs> <laughs> See you next See you week. next week. Weather with Dawson and Joel. Okay, first we'll start you off here with the seven-day forecast. It's supposed to be pretty warm later on this week, except for Monday. It's supposed to be cloudy and quite breezy. Now here's Dawson with some of the things that are going on with the weather. So the f groundhog little guy, he did not see a shadow. So we're looking at, he's saying in early spring, I don't know, never seems to be right. I heard that he was only 40% accurate, so who knows, we'll see. So your average February temperature is about 22 degrees or so, and we're a little bit warmer than that with about 26, 27 degrees or so, right in that area. So fairly average February. All right, today I have TJ Just and um, Justin Ricomoto, our local sheriff. And they just got done talking to a bunch of the classes about anti-bullying and social media and how it can be really harmful to um, students. So I'm just going to ask them to talk a little bit about um, what they were telling everyone and any important things they think they should add in. Well, cyberbullying is a real problem in our society as social media grows and more and more suicide attempts, statistically speaking, are caused due to cyberbullying. And it's just another way of, of hurting somebody very badly without using your fists. And words can be more harmful than that. And uh, it's a growing problem all over the country and Northeast South Dakota is no different. And so um, with, with all the social media sites coming up and it's hard to keep track of them, uh, it's easy to get lost in the shuffle of cyberbullying. It is. Um, 
basically for my part of the job is if there is somebody being bullied and and it you know and there's an act of you know injury to an individual being bullied you know there's certain tools that I can use that will let me find out who did this kind of stuff to you know try to help solve this and and a lot of times there can be you know criminal charges that can be added on to individuals that are doing the bullying um you know my job is I want to you know stop as much of it as I can and I want to encourage anyone who's been bullying or to step down and anyone who's been bullied to feel free to go and talk to one of these two or anyone you feel comfortable talking to because bullying is such a huge issue and people want to help you. They just need to be aware of the situation before anything can really happen. Thank you for joining us today. All righty, there's the end of the first ever Poncho Show on YouTube. Bye, everybody. Get well, Mayor. Get well.